But we're still talking about the ideal, which you discussed in medical school, mm -hmm. which is the interaction <laughs> between the physician and the patient. Which is so, so you follow the that core to of health care. Logical conclusion. And I come to you as a physician. Mm -hmm. I discuss my little concerns. And at the end of the day, you say, you know what? You need a prescription of this. If you take this once a day for X days, you'll be better. So you hand me the prescription. And on the form, it says doctor, federal ID number, prescribed substances number, mm -hmm. all that stuff. And then generic, non-generic. And you write down the drug you want me to take mm -hmm. and the rules for mm -hmm. taking it. So I take that to my pharmacy. Mm -hmm. And the pharmacy says, well, let's see your insurance card. Mm -hmm. They don't say, let's see your prescription. They say, look at my insurance card. They put that data in. Mm -hmm. Then they look at the prescription, and they come back and say, can't give you that. The doctor didn't mark generic, and that particular drug is not in our Brett's formulary. Brett's having a lot of trouble with pharmacies. So well, but no, but no, no, conceptually, <laughs> I know. Th this happens to a lot of people. I know it does. So we get the what's a calls. formulary? You know, it's not in our formulary. Oh, is that the cabinet on the left, or is that the cabinet on the right? It means what your insurance plan will pay for. And in terms and doctors of can't drugs keep track, or medicines. Yeah, medicines. Doctors don't know that Blue Cross pays for this, but but United Healthcare pays for this. Mm -hmm. They're writing the the drug they think you need. Well, it's hard enough for me to figure out what the, what the <laughs> prescription means. How, how do you keep track of that? You know, uh, ibuprofen know. versus uh, antihistamine versus uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, that's what you study, and that's yes. what you know, and yeah. I don't know that. But they, it may have four different brand names in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. So you write it for the brand name that you are familiar with or like best for reasons, you know, like an antidepressant. How do you decide which one to give me? 